G'day and welcome back to Unimi. A foot pedal or a foot control can be used to control the amperage of your welder while you're welding. Is your weld getting too hot? Well, ease off the pedal and lower the amps, which lets the weld cool. The foot pedal gives you the complete control you need without having to stop in the middle of a weld and readjust. They can only be used while TIG welding. A stick welding uses an electrode holder rather than a torch and MIG welding's amperage is dictated by the wire feed speed. Considering TIG often requires more control over low amps on thin metals, it's not a big deal. When you're first starting out, TIG welding in general can seem pretty daunting, especially if you've got yourself a dedicated TIG welding machine that has hundreds of little lights and options and settings. Okay, so there aren't that many, but that little pyramid of weld parameters on your TIG welding machine can be kind of overwhelming to start with. If TIG is already a handful, then why on earth would you want to add another variable into the mix with a foot pedal? Well, it gives you extra control over the amps, which is the heat of your weld, thanks to being adjustable mid-weld rather than being static throughout. The added control means a better weld, plus it can be more comfortable. The welder's comfort can make a world of difference to how a weld will turn out. It's a lot easier to hold a pedal down with your foot than it is to constantly hold a button down with your finger. The setup for a foot pedal is pretty simple, thanks to having just one cord and one setting knob. The actual connection is a pin plug setup, so make sure that the pin plug number on your foot pedal and the machine match up. You can get adapters to connect different pin plugs. All of your settings are set on the machine, the same way they'd be set if you were using a torch. The peak amps you select on the machine will translate to the pedal. In order to use the full pedal's controls, the machine needs to be placed in remote mode. To do this, just hold down the pedal for five seconds until the remote green light appears. The full pedal won't work in 4T because you have to hold the pedal in to weld. Having it in a mode where you let go of the trigger just doesn't work. Now your pedal is set up and ready to use. Pressing the pedal in will start the arc, the same way pressing the button on the high frequency torch does. Once the full pedal is pressed, the machine's screen will read out what amps you're currently at. If the pedal is all the way down, it will read the peak amps you set the machine to. Anything less than fully pressed, and it'll show you what the amps you're sitting at are. If you adjust your full pressure, the screen will adjust it reading to reflect the new amperage amount. It may take some time to get used to how it works and how far back you can release the pedal before you're lowering too far. The pedal comes with an adjustable knob on the side, which allows you to control the max amps from the foot pedal, to a certain extent. With your pedal knob set at maximum, it will only go to as high as what the peak amps are set at on the machine. Say you set the peak amps on the machine to 150 and have the pedal knob set to max. Holding it pressed all the way down, it'll weld at 150 amps. If you were to adjust the knob to halfway, it would then only weld as high as 75 amps when pressed all the way down. However, you can't exceed whatever amperage you set on your machine with the foot pedal. It has to be increased by the way of all your other settings do, using the interface on your machine. One of the best things about having a foot pedal and control over your amps is that you can manually pulse weld. If you don't have a TIG machine that comes with a pulse option, just do it yourself. Press and release, press and release at a steady pace and you're pulse welding. By flooring it, you reach the peak amps. Then, by backing off, you lower to the base amps. It does take some practice to get the timing and the pressure consistent though. Being able to pulse is incredibly useful if you're welding really thin materials and you adjust your pulsing on the fly by doing it with a foot pedal. You can't use a foot pedal if you don't have a machine that can support it. For example, the Unimig multi-process machine like the Viper 185 doesn't support the use of a foot pedal. Full pedals are great for giving the welder that extra bit of control over every weld. Just be sure that you have a machine that can support it. 